the procurement of five new 97-meter multi-role response vessels for the Philippine Coast Guard has started moving forward, which would be funded by Japan Official Development Assistance, ODA. Note that this is separate from Japanese commitments made under Japan's Official Security Assistance, OSA, to provide defense systems to the armed forces of the Philippines. It is expected that an improved version of the Magbanua class which may incorporate additional features. As part of the Philippine Coast Guard's efforts to modernize and expand its fleet and Japan's readiness to provide assistance to the Philippines to improve maritime safety and law enforcement capabilities, a project was implemented to meet these requirements with the assistance of Japan's Official Development Assistance, ODA. These ships will be used to respond to offshore and coastal maritime incidents such as search and rescue, SAR, maritime law enforcement, Marlin, maritime security, MARSEC, operations. Under the Philippine Coast Guard's 2020 acquisition plan, the service aims to have at least 10 Marine Patrol multi-role response vessels, MRRVs, and 30 offshore patrol vessels, OPVs. One of the projects to achieve the plan is the Phase 3 Maritime Safety Capability Enhancement Project for the PCG, MSCIP Phase 3, which aims to provide additional large vessels for the service. Over the years, PCG stated its acquisition plans in various forums. In May 2022, PCG Commander Admiral Artemio Abu stated that it would be ideal to have a 97-meter-long MRRV for each of the PCG's 15 Coast Guard districts. In June 2022, then-CG Vice Admiral Eduardo Fabricante raised the possibility of procuring additional 97-meter MRRV units during a visit by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries officials to PCG. In July 2022, PCG submitted a proposal to the Department of Transportation Dotter, for the acquisition of an additional 97-meter-long MRRV. Also during the January 2023 visit of officials from the Japan International Cooperation Agency Chika, and the Japanese Embassy in the Philippines at PCG headquarters in Manila, PCG Commander Admiral Artemio Abu discussed the proposed acquisition of an additional 97-meter MRRV among other projects. Planned with Japanese assistance, during media interviews regarding the visit, the PCG commander stated plans to acquire five additional 97-meter-long MRRVs were in progress with DOTR and NEDA. In various media interviews starting in February 2023 when the military-grade laser pointer incident by the Chinese Coast Guard occurred, PCG spokesperson Commodore J. Terriella said the PCG needed more than 20 offshore patrol vessels in its fleet. Around March 2023, during the budget preparation for fiscal year 2024, documents from the National Economic Development Authority, NEDA, showed that PCG submitted a project to procure 580 to 100 meter vessels with an estimated budget of around PHP 21 billion. Finally last November 9, 2023, the NEDA board approved the PHP 29.3 billion Maritime Safety Capability Enhancement Project for PCG, Phase 3, which will involve the design, construction, and delivery of five MRRV units each 97 meters long and with logistical support integrated for five years. According to JICA, it is estimated that a budget of around 18 billion Japanese yen, tilde PHP 7 billion, is needed for the ship's O&M costs over five years. With that, around PHP 22.3 billion will be used for consulting and construction contracts for the five ships. According to DOTR, this project will complete the seven units required to enable the minimum strategic deployment of capable Coast Guard vessels within our extensive maritime jurisdiction particularly in the exclusive economic zone and vast continental shelf, taking into account the competitive budget requirements of these countries. Government is faced with challenges to our maritime safety and security. A total of 380 personnel will be needed to procure five ships in this project. As part of lessons learned from other Japanese ODA projects, it is important for this project to secure personnel with training to ensure safe vessel operations. And by continuing to implement the preventive maintenance policy, 
currently apply to the MSCIP Phase 1 and Phase 2 projects. These ships are targeted to be able to operate for 30 years. From July 2022 when it was submitted to the DOTR for endorsement to the Japanese Embassy to November 2023 when it was approved by the NETA board in just 15 months, this project was clearly accelerated compared to other PCG projects. This can be a prime example of how a project can be prioritized even in collaboration with foreign partners such as JICA.